Hi guys, it's me again, Fly With Me FPV, and what I have here is a set of motors uh, from MAD Components. Um, MAD meaning Magneto Aerodynamics. Uh, thank you, Alice uh, Chen, for uh, sending these motors. I say these because I not only have one, but two sets. Now, I got interested with these motors when I saw it on a Facebook group that I am part of and reach out to Alice and uh, here we are so anyways uh, I don't want to keep the video really long I just want to go through the motor show them to you what is my first impression and maybe uh, on another video install it and get a feel of how they perform if you want to uh, learn more about the technical stuff and you know all the geeky stuff like uh, our results of a trust test there's a guy on YouTube and I will include the link down on this video on the description area uh, his name is uh, or his YouTube name is engineer X uh, check him out he I, I watched the video I think he tested a prototype I, I can't remember if it's a 2400 or a 2750 kV version but anyways lots of good stuff I suggest you check that out uh, or check that specific video of engineer X with regards to the MAD uh, components motor. Anyways, so this is the package. It comes with this. It's sealed with plastic. I'd open it up. Uh, that's the uh, you know, foam protector. Not really much. And comes with a sticker, of course. And that's how it looked like. Four motors. Uh, very neatly uh, packaged and protected with this thick foam. Nobody cares about the foam, you just want to see the motors, right? So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to put it as close as possible. There you go. So, this is a uh, 24, 2306, 24 kV version. Uh, bare or naked bottom, if you can see there. Yeah. So, this is the first time I'll be using this type of motors. Uh, at first, I was not really sold on uh, naked bottoms or bare bottoms because, you know, when you crash and you, you know, dirt, whatever, whatever will go in there. And, but on the bright side, it's easier to clean, right? Because with the motors that are not bare bottom, you have to really open it up and remove all the dirt or whatever grass that gets caught in there. So the material used uh is pretty decent and uh i think there's a bit of uh, uh not really a big issue but i don't know if you could see there but there's uh the space between the magnets and the stator there uh, it's pretty okay it uses a uh a screw not a c-clip for me that's a plus because uh, i don't really like c-clips it's so annoying and hard to remove maybe i just don't know how to remove them properly but i don't like them uh, there is also, if you can see there, I don't know if you can see there, but there is glue or epoxy that basically holds this part of the wire to the windings there, which is a really good touch, you know, just to protect because this will, might, I don't get damaged in a crash or whatever, but uh, that's a really good uh, touch there by bad components. Curve magnets, I mean, it's not really a pro because most of the motors, if not all the motors that come out now or has come out recently are using curved motors. I weighed this, it's 32 grams. So with this amount of wire, it says it's 60 millimeters. I didn't measure it, but it looks pretty much like 60 millimeters. If you're going to use a 41 ASC, of course, you will use a good chunk of this wire, but uh, for the build or for the quad that I will be putting this on, I will cut it short here because I got ESCs on the arms. So it might cut down the weight and I measured that without the uh, propeller screw. So 32 grams, you know, give or takes probably 30 by the time that it gets it solved. What I noticed is that uh, compared to the other motors, I, I, I fly a lot of my quads uh, using Emacs and T-Motor motors. The windings on uh, on this, the wires, they're decent, but I've seen better uh, windings, and I think that can uh, where mad components can improve on. I don't know if that's a Q 
QA stuff or whatever but uh, again it doesn't matter if it performs well who cares we're not we're not using this on a beauty contest but and uh, on top of that I can see that the wires are kinda at the bottom there you see that it's kinda loose so I'm, I'm concerned if I put a screw in there it might uh, touch the uh, the wires and we all know if that happens that can generate a shitload of problems you know motor heating and whatever another thing is that since I opened the first box the I don't know if I can show it to you but this the propeller screw well, I could probably show that to you on, a, on another video but it's it's pretty short it's shorter than the normal propeller screw so when you screw your uh, propellers you know I'm using a ratchet to screw it in it, it's it's slipping so you have to really you know put a bit of attention to screw uh, the propellers in or it, it will keep on slipping but not a big deal you can change the screws but it would be nice to to have that uh, you know longer or bigger screws I guess another thing that I didn't like about what was included in the package is they're still using this type of screw uh, or provided this type of screw to screw the motor to the frame this requires a different tool right like an allen wrench or and they didn't provide the, the tool for it so it's not really a biggie but I have a lot of these so this is the thing that you need to use which they didn't provide uh, on the package that's about it I think uh, what I can add on top of the other reviews that were already uh, available online so anyways with uh, the magic of video editing voila I got the you know the other set installed on my Martian 2 frame and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use to test these motors uh, it's spinning, uh, you know, HQ 5x4.3.3 props. Uh, I applied them exclusively, exclusively on uh, all my freestyle uh, quads. So that's what I'm going to use. 30 amp uh, Speedix CSC. I love this. Uh, I love this frame. Uh, you know, it's not as sexy as the newer frames that come out, but. It really fits my flying style. It's a bit heavy. It comes in at 654, I think, with a GoPro Session 4 and a 1300 milliamp hour uh, China Hobby Line battery. So it's uh, you know it's not light, but it fits my flying style. I like to use a lot of uh, momentum to carry me over certain uh, obstacles, or trees, and whatever. So I like it, and that's the reason why I decided to use put the motors on uh, this frame anyways if you could see that's the prop screw that came with it see how short it is and it will slip I guarantee you if you if you don't change it but you know it's not really a deal breaker anyways uh, that is my uh, first impression of this motors from uh, mad components Again, thank you, Alice, uh, Alice Chen, for sending them out to me. And uh, I will upload another video for the, I would say, semi-maiden, because I'm just, you know, trying out the motors. Anyways, thank you very much. If you like what you just watched, please do support my channel by subscribing or, you know, giving me a thumbs up, liking, and, you know, sharing uh, the video. Thank you very much.